Today, I'll show you how to apply for a Cambodian visa online. Cambodia is a country that heavily relies on tourism. One of their ways to make money from tourists is to charge most of them an entry fee. Uh, I mean for visas. Unless you're from a fellow ASEAN country, you'll have to fork out $30 in hard currency at a bare minimum to get a visa on arrival. However, if you happen to be flying to Cambodia or entering there for designated border checkpoints and don't mind paying six more dollars per person, you can apply for an e-visa up to three months before your trip in the comfort of your own home. You can pay by card, save time at immigration, and protect yourself from scammers often found at the land checkpoints. To start your application, open the official website and click on application on the homepage. After completing a capture, you should enter your personal details details of your trip and scans of your passport and a passport sized photo. Your photo must be clear and in color. From my experience, the photo can have a white or grey background. I'm not sure whether photos with blue backgrounds are accepted, so please leave a comment below. When you have provided all the information, click Next and you'll be sent to a review page. You can double check the details you have entered and make corrections as necessary. Or enter the details of more people that would like to apply for e-visas as well. Once you have entered the details for everyone, scroll to the bottom of the review page, tick the box saying that you agree with the terms and conditions, and click save to get to the payment page. You'll be informed that a reference number has been emailed to you. At this point, the application is not complete, but you should take note of the number in case you have any queries later on. An e-visa costs $36. You can pay by Visa, Mastercard, JCB, Diners Club, or Union Pay Cards, or the Alipay e-wallet. Click the type of card or e-wallet you would like to use, and you'll have three minutes to enter your details and click confirm and pay. You'll most likely have to verify the transaction with your bank. Afterwards, your application is officially submitted and will be acknowledged by email. You can check the status of your application by going to the official website, clicking check and change, and providing your reference number and email address. Unless you are seen as a threat to national security or something like that, your application should be approved within three working days. For your reference, I submitted my application on a Friday and it was approved by the following Monday. The e-visa office will send an email for each applicant with his visa attached as a PDF file. So please check your inbox to ensure you have received all of them. You should print two copies of your e-visa before your trip. The first copy should be presented to the officer at immigration, along with your passport and landing card. For your convenience, you may cut out the visa from the printout and staple it on an empty page of your passport. Once you are through, you can stay in Cambodia for up to 30 days. The other copy can be presented upon request when you are leaving the country. Thank you for watching. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to click the bell as well. I'll see you soon.